computer just a second and angle it down where you can see the table. All right, can everybody see the table okay? No, um, uh, yeah, 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 I do now. Okay, so what we do is we have three balls, and I'm going to use some a little bit fancier ones right now, but I'm going to show you how do you make all this stuff that I'm getting ready to use. So it's not a big deal. You start off with three little balls. These are like the little pom-pom balls. You can get those at Walmart or places that sell things like uh, craft items to make stuff. You can get those all different sizes and colors. And you need your three cups. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our three cups down like this. And here's how the trick works, guys. And this is actually one of the very oldest magic tricks in the world. They think that even the ancient Egyptians, back when they were building the pyramids, knew how to do this trick. So it's kind of fun. You take one of the balls and you put it right on top of the bottom of the cup right there. And then we're going to stack the other two cups on top. And we're going to say our magic words, Cheetos and hot fries. And look at this. The ball came right through that cup. Let me show you one more time, just in case we didn't get it. I'm going to put the cup over that ball this time. Take another ball, put it on top. Put these two on top. Say our magic words, Cheetos and hot fries. And now there are two balls under here. And we can even do it one more time. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up both of those. And we're going to put the ball on. And wait a minute. We're going to try it a little bit harder this time. Since we've already done it twice, we're going to see if we can make it go through two cups at once. Ready? One, two, three. Cheetos and hot fries. And all three balls have gone through the cups. And so that's it. That, there's a lot, of fan, lot more fancy stuff you can do with this type of trick, but this is the very basic. It's called cups and balls. And this is the way, once you learn how to do this part of it that I've just shown you, you can learn some fancier things you can do to make it even more amazing with the cups and the balls. Now let me tell you what the secret is. I told you there were three cups and three balls. It's not quite true. The tricky part is there are really four balls. And you can make these out of your napkin. You don't have to have these kind like I have here. What you can do is just take a napkin and just tear it up into sections. Now, if you have some kind of bigger cups, you can make a bigger ball. If it's smaller cups, you make smaller ones and just make four paper balls. You want them all to be about the same size. They got to be real close so that people won't know that it's a different ball they're seeing. So you're just going to make four of those real quick. If you can go and be doing that now if you want to, so you can follow along. Just tear up your paper towel or your napkin and make four balls all about the same size. That's what these kind of things work better if you have some of those to make crafts with or if you can get some of those because they don't fall apart like the paper balls do and they'll all be the same size and color. So you're going to make four of them. The other thing I just learned not too long ago is you can do the same thing with a piece of foil. Roll that up into a ball and they'll actually stick together better than the paper balls will. So you do the same thing if you have a piece of uh, aluminum foil and you can make four balls out of that. Then you're going to take your cups. I'm just going to use these. These are little like drinking water cups. And here's how you start off doing the trick. Okay, I'm going to use this so you can see it better. But it's the same thing. There's no trick to these cups. They're solid just like the ones you're using. There's no holes in them for the ball to go through. But here's, this, here's what the sneaky part you do before you start doing the trick. Take one cup, put a second cup inside of it, like that, stack them together. And then inside this cup, you're going to hide one of these yellow balls, okay? Everybody see that? Then you're going to take the third cup and put it on top. And then you can put all the other ones inside that top cup. And now you're ready to start. So there's three balls here, there's three cups, and then there's the one hidden here that nobody knows about. 
and that's what makes the trick work and I'm going to show you why. So to start off the trick, you can pour out the three balls to show everybody you have those. And then you're going to turn the cup over one at a time. Now the middle cup, this one right here, is the one that has the ball in it. So when you turn it over, you got to be careful. You want to turn it over just like that so the ball doesn't fall out. And then you turn the last one over. Now this is the part you'll probably have to practice. This is the only thing that's a little bit hard to do. And it's not very hard at all once you get used to doing it. Is turning this cup over without that ball falling out. So it's just like this. You just turn it over like that. And the ball's under there but nobody knows about it. Now here's what you have to watch. You can't turn it over too slow. Because if you do, the ball's going to fall out. And then everybody's going to know what you're doing. That doesn't work. But you don't want to turn it over super, if you turn, you don't want to do it like this. Watch, watch this. See, if I turn this one over that's empty, kind of slow like that, and I turn that one over real quick, see it fell out evenly. If I turn this one over real quick, and then turn this one over slow, it kind of looks kind of suspicious. People are going to wonder, why did he turn that one over so fast? So you want to turn all three of them over at about the same speed. That's the only thing you need to practice a little bit, is just practice turning that cup over without spilling the ball out. Once you can do that, there's a ball under here that nobody knows about. You take one of these, you put it on top, and then cover it up with your other two cups. And then you can tap it, use your magic wand, say your magic words, whatever you want to do. And then you turn all three cups over in the stack together. And now there's a ball there that looks like it came through that cup. What really happened is the ball you had just put on top of this cup is now inside this cup. So it's just like you started. You can't see your face. Yeah, I know you can't see my face because the way the angle is, I'm trying to show you the cups. As long as you can hear me, that's good enough right now. Um, so the ball now is in the cup and you're set up just like you were at the beginning. So that to do it the second time, you're going to turn over the cups again just the same way, except this time when you put that middle one down that really has the ball hidden in it, you're going to put it over the top of this one. Okay, so it's just like that, and then like that. So now this cup really has two balls under it. People think it's just one. They saw you cover up the one. They think it's just the one. So you're going to take the second ball, put it on top, put the cups back together like that, tap it, turn it over, and now it's like there's two balls that have come through the cups. And guess what? There's still a ball hidden in the middle. So you can do it one more time. Same thing. Turn it over. Now this time the middle cup that has the ball hidden in it, you're going to turn it over to cover up, let everybody see you're covering up those two balls right there. Just like that. Now, how many balls are really under this cup? There's three really under this cup, but people think there's just two because that's what they saw you cover up. And I like to change it up a little bit on the last time. I put the ball there like I'm going to do the same thing again, and then I act like I had a new idea. Let's see if it can do it even harder. Let's make it go through two cups at once. So you put two cups together, take that ball, put it on top, put that one on top. One more time, do your magic words. And then when you flip the whole stack over, it looks like the ball went through two cups, and now you have all three that have gone through the cup. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording there.